the Navajo Code Talkers helped spark the exploration of using native languages to encrypt messages during World War II in the United States. Despite having been enemies with the United States prior to the war, the Navajo did not want to live in a world controlled by the Japanese and sensed good in serving their country. In the short term, the secure Navajo code allowed for messages to be delivered successfully with no decryption by the enemy, resulting in the victory of many battles. In the long term, the early ending of World War II resulted in less time at war and less casualties. The United States and the Navajo exchanged language ideas which led to the development of a secure code, ultimately resulting in the United States encountering victory in World War II. The Navajo people were part of a Native American tribe that lived in a reservation located in Arizona and bordering New Mexico, Colorado, and Utah around the 1920s before World War II. The Navajo Nation consisted of around 50,000 Navajo. The Navajo were one of the many native cultures that not only lived in the United States, but were also enemies with the United States. They lived most of their lives on ranches and farms, herding sheep. The Navajos had an ongoing conflict with the United States because they fought against Mexico in the United States many times before. Their conflict was also fueled by the struggle for land. As a result of this, Colonel Kit Carson ordered a brutal attack on the Navajos despite their contributions in World War I. Their land was pillaged many times. The Navajos were mistreated and forced off their native homelands to a reservation. This journey was nicknamed the Long Walk. Following the Long Walk, many young Navajos were taught about the struggles and deaths of Navajo during this grueling journey back. The Navajo reservation was desolate and the soil there was never fertile or fit for any kind of agriculture. In 1941, December 7th, Pearl Harbor, Hawaii is attacked, marking the beginning of World War II. The United States explores new means of using native languages to develop codes unbreakable by Germany and Japan. An engineer in Los Angeles named Philip Johnston discovers that the Navajo language would be an exceptional code while reading about an armored division in Louisiana. Upon more research, Philip Johnston realizes that the Navajo language was not common outside of the United States, making it the ideal choice for a base language. The Navajo language was extremely difficult to master and speak fluently to non-natives. Philip Johnston himself grew up in a Navajo reservation and spoke fluently in the language, and even gave talks about Navajo culture. Philip Johnston thinks of an idea that he could create a program in which Navajos would be enlisted to develop a code out of their language. This would lead to the rise of the Navajo code talkers who would ultimately transmit messages in the battlefield securely enough that the enemy would not be able to intercept and decipher them. Philip Johnston decided that he would explore more in creating this program and reports to Camp Elliott, a military base, to consult with General James E. Jones. From past experiences in testing codes based off of native languages, Jones refused to agree with Johnston that Navajo would be a good base language. His reasoning for this was that most native languages lacked words for military terms, such as planes and aircraft, and these military terms were of most importance to use in the field. Despite Jones' disagreement, Johnston was determined, discovering that instead of using similar words, a word in Navajo would be assigned to a word in English, meaning something completely different. For example, a Navajo word that translated to eggs would correspond to the word bombs in English. General James E. Jones is finally convinced of Johnston's idea and sends him to General Clayton B. Vogel, where Johnston performs a test run of his vision. Vogel would tell a trained Navajo various commands involving military terms. The Navajo would then say the commands in the code form into the radio. A receiver on the other end would decrypt the code back into English. General Clayton B. Vogel was impressed and decides to give the project a go. 
29 Navajos are successfully recruited to the United States Marine Corps organization and are tested over and over again for a single mispronunciation could lead to the death of thousands. The United States Marine Corps encountered many challenges and problems during the development of the code, however ultimately encountered victory in World War II because of Philip Johnston's grueling efforts in pushing the code to perfection. One of the major challenges of creating this code was making it secure enough that it would not be deciphered by the enemy, making it possible for the element of surprise to be on the United States side. Philip Johnston realizes that having one word in Navajo for one word in English was not enough, so he assigned multiple words in Navajo to one word in English. This means that several words in Navajo would only mean a single word in English. Another difficulty encountered was that there were no military words in Navajo. To deal with this problem, Johnston and the Marine Corps decided to use non-military terms instead that would correspond to English military terms. The security of the code proved to be at its maximum when the United States won World War II, encountering victory. The Navajos exchanged many ideas regarding language and pronunciation with the United States Marine Corps. Some of these exchanges included money in order to fund the project and hire teachers that could speak fluently in Navajo. A great deal of language exchange was done between the Navajos and the United States Marine Corps when it came to finding the right words for certain military terms. In the short term, many small battles were won in World War II due to the security of the code. Shortly after World War II, the Navajo code talkers were still not recognized as heroes, despite their efforts in serving their country. The Navajos were not allowed to vote or to become legal citizens because their existence was to be kept secret in case of another war. Then, if another war did happen, their code might still come to use. In the long term, the United States, assisted by the 106th Congress, created a bill and a gold medal to honor the original 29 Navajo code talkers and their contributions and bravery during World War II. The rest of the code talkers were awarded silver medals. The United States also kept the existence of the Navajo code talkers classified for 23 years after World War II. The reason being, since the Navajo's code worked so well in the war, the United States kept their code and their existence secret because they thought that the code could come in handy in another war. The Navajo code talkers began the exploration of using native languages in message encryption and code. In order to achieve a code unbreakable by the Japanese and the Germans, the Navajo code talkers explored a new way of message encryption through native language, exchanged several ideas with the United States, and ultimately encountered victory in the Second World War.